I recently casted a new Splatoon tournament, the 20XX series, which had a lot of top competition. You can find the full VOD of that in the description, but today I wanted to focus on a specific team that ran Tetras and Inkbrush in a comp together. So here's part two of those highlights. We start with a Charger POVC. If we're gonna see an opening snipe, and we are, onto Legend. Barely misses Leafy, but that's the opening play you need. Isabel gonna be rushing that bamboo, gets one. Baller following up for the second. Isabel cleaning up on Leafy, has to be careful for that burst bomb. Barely out of range to survive. The leader very narrowly not getting Leafy. Missile's gonna put some pressure on them. Gonna be narrowly missing again, but the brush tetra dive finds three. And that's a shutdown. Not only is that a shutdown, but you're gonna have a brush on your top left side as long as he doesn't miss the jump. No! I jinxed it, dude. Commentator's curse. Luke is stuck in mid, gets picked off. And this is starting to look bad. Jackpot getting set up here. Legend though has the bomb rush, but he went in anyway and got himself picked off. That could have been super useful for holding, but it's actually gonna start snowballing now. All right, we're gonna splash down for the security or the flex, I don't know, maybe it's just a swag splash down. That could be a thing and I just don't know it. Maybe trying to press this left side and Ellis will just be pressing ZR over the ledge. Manages to trade, it's just Q and they're all locked out. Wave needs to push up here and potentially get a pick. They're gonna go into middle, finds what they needed. That is exactly what they wanted to hold here to go down on jackpot. And that's gonna be a very strong game one. Early pick happens onto the Nautilus from the Charger. Wave doing an excellent job of ensuring he gets an opening pick every team fight. His angles are just on point or the other team are peeking him, I don't know, but it's, it's pretty consistent either way. Lucas on the flank isn't able to quite get the bamboo, gonna annoy them, but two people on his team go down not sure what happened while we were focused on it, but the push kind of fell apart there. Lucas doing ink brush things and just kind of running around the enemy side of the base. Has the baller. Isabel goes down. Lucas on the flank. This team is dead, though. I would just go for points. Looks like he's just going to go for the pick. Gets the baller combo. Going to be going for that knot using that light baller. Gets the knot. Gets three! Are we going to see the quad? No, it will be shut down. But Luke is getting way more value than he ever should have. And it might just keep the push going. I'm getting on the plat. Going to be pushing the charger, but the wall going to deny it. One of the few weaknesses of having burst bombs is breaking that wall. Going to find a pick on Ellis, though, and is setting up quite nicely. Every special online for Jackpot but a flank's gonna take out the tower. This brush tetra comp keeps finding their way in. Lucas is drawing attention, but he does get picked in the baller. How unfortunate. Inkjet comes out from Leafy, trying to find a way to keep this push going. Ellis is the target here, but he manages to stay alive. Isabel gonna deny this right side, finds a pick onto Exy, and it's two down on Jackpot. Leafy able to get one. Wave setting up, trying to get that bomb rush, but that's a really slow special for the Charger to get there at 220p. It's going to take a long time. They're putting pressure on the tower. Ella's trying to get it, but Jackpot finds both Slayers. Suddenly, Vino, P Vino Tinto is in big trouble. The bomb rush and armor are going to be used early. The Tetra diving early gets picked. They stall the objective, but the fronts go down immediately. Neither of them are running QR sets either, so they're going to be back really slow. Wave is going for the flank shot. Wait, this could be huge. If the armor doesn't deny it and they see him, they're going to dodge him. The flank's not going to work out. Going to have to jump out. The Tetra and Brush are dead again. And Jackpot's right at the end. A snipe to save it. The tap shot to hold it down. Lucas has the baller. Tetra trying to push the left side. Wave gonna set up aggressively. Legend gets picked again. Gonna be really late to that bomb rush. And Jackpot's really not close to anything right now. It's gonna take some time. Bomb rush on the left for the Nautilus. Isabel gets picked though. That could be bad. The knock gets picked though. Legend gets picked by the bomb. 
Wave needs to set up. He can't get a wall. The bamboo's gonna clean it. It's the Tetra trying to make a miracle happen, and they can't do it, unfortunately. We are seeing Q switch off to the end zap 89. All right, we're going with the backless pick. Either way, I don't think it's a big difference. That's pretty helpful against the brush and Tetra with the tire mobility. So it should work out. But either way, I'm getting a bad case of de deja vu because this game is opening up the exact same way the last one did, except arguably worse, and it's almost over already. Leafy gonna be dunking it. This is not how you want the game to start. Leafy set up on the flank. Goes to the high ground for the inkjet. That's a nice pack spot there. Gonna be able to find... Yes, we'll be able to find one before going down. Legend gets picked as well, though. Leafy staying in the spawn, trying to find their way through. Wave trying to micromanage both sides. Drops on the rain, but dies. This is not looking good. Leafy set up on the top. Lucas gets the brush to try to force through. Rainmaker gets to three but is not able to find it. Jackpot's going down. The opportunity's fading away, and Leafy keeps the Rainmaker from dropping off. They're trying to hold it a little bit longer. Q is up here, but the V-Jet gonna be able to shut it down. The suction's on the rain. Wave needs to not die there. They're gonna be really careful for that Rainmaker grab. Splashdown, Toxic Mist. The rain does not get dropped. It stays up top. It's just Wave. Wave cannot shut this down. And the choke, Jackpot. Gonna stay calm, turn it around, and get the win, despite one of the worst starts you can have on this map. They're showing that it's not over until it's over. However, we will still see a bamboo, this time on the side of Wave. Opening up on this right side. He's trying to put some pressure. Oh, that's a missile in a really bad spot. One goes down. Wave, in the fight with the Zap, is weak, gonna opt to play it safe. The Zap chases, the brush is there to help, the Bamboo's gonna be dodging around, but Legend will find the pick before going down. Lucas pushing in, and once again, Vino Tinto is gonna be starting this off. The banger. Move my mic a little closer. Lucas holding, trying to get some assists, has the clamps to keep the basket open. Isabel going down with the trade. Lucas gonna be able to score. We're seeing Leafy trying to defend from the top side. Looking for something, but their team is constantly going down. They will be able to shut down the push, at least, due to a lack of clams. That is not what you want to see. Seeing the bamboo put some pressure in middle. Finds Legend. That will be a good way to open it up for them. They have nine clams. They have 26 as a team. 27. This has a, could be a knockout. They have enough to make it happen right here, almost. If they could just get a little bit more in, it's huge. They're going to offer the points. 10. They need a few more left. Leafy, though, will shut it down, but that is a nice start. Armor Jet comes out. Leafy tries to get one, but they jump out. On Wave gets him with an assist from a teammate. Almost gets the one out of spawn. The Brush can probably get the Knot, right? No? The Knot lives. Brush will manage to clean it in the end. Gonna have to ball her to stay alive, but as long as they deny the points, that's what matters. Getting this basket closed as soon as possible. Why did it sound like they took damage in ball? I expect they're weird, bro. Not drops on the brush, gets picked off. That's exactly what Vino Tito need. Jackpot getting backed up. Gonna maintain a conveyor, but there's two people there. Legend gets picked. The bamboo goes down as well, so it's at least a little bit even. Leafy, not in a position she wants to be in, but that suction noddle is gonna be such a powerful tool to break baller. Even light baller can't get around it so easily. Ellis gonna try to make sure that player goes down. They grab the footballs, and this should be the game. I think that's it. It is, and Vino Tito will be taking another game, and we are going to game five, the match point. The missile ray onto wave, but the armor comes out. That's a positive special trade, but Ellis goes down. Not the opening you wanna see. Lucas, though, gets Legend, but is not gonna be able to get anywhere near Q. Probably just gonna run into their spawn. And just, I don't know, man, try to do brush things. They pick Legend, which is more value than they ever should have gotten. So, you know, they'll probably take that. Ellis in the corner. Excellent bait on the Nautilus, allowing Isabel to get in. Ellis wants to get that armor to save his team from the Stingray. Gonna use it there just for a bit of insurance. Hitting that inkjet ready. Trying to pressure forward here. Has it. 
He's gonna be popping on the left side, pressuring the Tetra to leave. Tetra gets flicked all the way back to spawn. The brush get a baller, I think, is kind of a waste. And the pick comes out. Leafy goes down. The Ray gonna try to trade things, but Wave doesn't die. He was one HP, but he lives on the Ray. Jackpot in big trouble. They only have that ink armor, and they're gonna have to use it just to get to zone. Ellis is gonna have it if they can stay alive. Leafy goes down. Two go down. Armor comes out. They have to be careful. One misplay can still lose some the game. Ellis goes down. It's just the jet, and they've done it. They have done it. Ellis squid bagging for victory. Their second set win over Jackpot, even on Albacore zones. Vino Tinto versus not a two win for the semifinals. Kyo gonna be going for that K machine, probably to help deal with that comp that's been giving everyone else so much trouble lately. Ellis gonna be pushing up this left stack a little bit. Rush is just already in their face, 24-7. Gets a pick on the Kyo. Rushes down Biscuit, but gets out of there before he dies. Dodges the bomb, dodges Biscuit. Lucas is staying alive in the middle of everything right now. And they're gonna be able to keep scoring. Tetra's gonna be set up on this left side. And there's a score onto the basket. The machine goes down again. And Isabel set up on that top left side. It's just gonna be a nuisance to be able to move out. It's only Bagel. And they have the clams to kill. Bro, just throw the clam. Lucas, throw the clam. Okay, Lucas giving me a mini heart attack. But they do get the win. <laughs> but at the same time, being able to run Jet and Nod together could be very threatening. Lucas going in for the Ray, gonna be disrupting it early, but goes down before he can pop that baller. Just probably did not expect Kyo to be all the way that far back, but Kyo knew that that Ray would be a prime target to get dived and was there to guard his team. Finds a pick on Isabel, counter Ray from Wave, trying to find something here. But Kyo with the masterful bucket flicks to shut down the Tetra. Lucas gonna get the landing though. Maybe can find the jet, no. But turns around and finds Bagel. Has that ink jet for the right side. Ray coming out early to apply pressure will find an early pick. The Tetra's very weak and that Ray will get a quick kill. Lucas gonna die for the rain but not able to find it. And NFT win are set up to push big here. The mine damage will get them picked off, but Ellis goes down again. They're still really staggered. Isabel's gonna have to pick the rain. They get some damage on it that will be finished off on, but they're staggering so much that it's gonna be really hard for them to do anything. They're respawned in mid. The missiles almost picked the Tetra right out of spawn. They get damage on the rain. Managed to get the pick before going down. But NFT win are just getting so much momentum here. They're gonna be backing off, trying to play slow with the armor, but no, someone breaks the rain. I thought they were backing off, but no. Ice is able to sneak right by and dunk it. Kyo is going with the Tetra counter pick, the Kensa Pro. Bro, I think he tweeted about this weapon today. I'm pretty sure he did. And now in tournament, he gets to play it. Left side, Tetra diving in on the Nautilus. Gets Biscuit down and is able to recover the HP. I think Isabel's constantly been sticking this MPU build over QR1, which is interesting. Typically, we've always seen Tetras prefer the quick respawn set. And I believe Lucas as well is going with a charge up object shredder set instead of a QR set. But both these weapons playing a bit untraditional sets, but I think in the current meta, and especially with how they're playing, I think it is a little bit better. Though it does make it a bit harder to do. Lucas on the side with the K-Pro, gonna be dipping and dodging around, gets the baller. Kyo didn't die to the bump, but that light baller is so fast, man, and turns on a dime, it can just keep up with it. Man, lightweight weapons just get to have an actual special weapon, it's, it's crazy. That being said, he's got the baller, so he's gonna force his way in with that. Gonna be going for the Nautilus, gets a bump. Gonna be able to secure the pick? No, it's just out of range. And Kyo sneaking in behind to get the pick. This kid gonna be setting up in the front here. Gonna be poking. Gets two! That's big! The baller's gonna get shredded before he can find one. Biscuit gets close enough to three. That's basically his kill. Gonna be pushing up here on this right side. Wave gonna try to pressure the tower. Kyo gets picked off here. But the ink armor is gonna come out to defend. Isabel is not in a good spot there. They're gonna go down. Biscuit trying to pressure this brush has to be careful. Playing the high ground but still goes down in the skybox, unfortunately. Biscuit 
gets a pick on it. Isabel once again. And they're going to be set up there. Ice trying to push forward. But Lucas with the flank going to finally get behind them and set up there. If they can pick Kyo, they'll be set up. But Kyo gets out of there. That key opportunity is kind of missed. Lucas not able to get it somehow. Kyo is playing very passive and very patiently. He's playing to shut down the pro and to shut down that brush. And he's doing a great job of it right now. Until Wave picks them both off to set up in mid. And as we stated before, tower special advantage heavily in favor of Isabel's team. They're going to be getting all of it. Kyo's team will be getting nothing. However, that might not matter if you get picked off like that. And two of them are down. Three of them are down. It's just Wave going to have to 1v4 with the Fire Fin. And it just doesn't happen today. Game four. Vino Tinto cannot afford a loss. They have to win this game. And we are seeing the infamous Kensa 52. We're seeing a very patient opening. Nobody going down at all in the first almost 40 seconds before Lucas will finally find two to get the opening. And it's just Biscuit trying to take on the rest of the team, or more importantly, trying to not die and get out of there. Will successfully... I stand corrected, man. I just tried to say he would live, but then Wave just popped up, tapped him with the bamboo, and he just died. Cure finally on the Tetra this time. It's a bit different. Two go down on NFT win. Bagel needs to die. This is a huge pick for them. Kyo could potentially be a big pick, too. That would shut down the missiles, and they do get it. I think that trade was absolutely worth it. That bamboo gonna put so much pressure. Gonna be a great option to shred the wall. They're gonna be able to push in. Luke is gonna be able to punish it. They just have to win one team fight here. Isabel painting the zone. Lucas painting the zone. Two of them go down. It's just Bagel. And they die. And Vino Tinto with a very dominant game four. With the first half of this bomb rush. Gonna mostly use it to hold space. Here comes the brush. Here comes the baller. And it finds them before going down. But it's just Ellis left to defend the basket. And not FT win are set up for the first push, but Biscuit grabbed one of the clams. No, Bagel was one away from making a football, but Biscuit accidentally grabbed one of them, and that's gonna delay the score. Bagel needs to get this pick, but he doesn't. Kyo backed up, and that's only gonna be a football into the basket, minimal damage. Kyo being 10 missile and weak to the Tetra. Not gonna be able to live. Ellis gets the pick. Isabel jumping in with the splash down to clear space. They need to jump that football over there. Take it too long. And they go down to the suction bomb. Isabel gonna score it. Try to salvage whatever of this push they can. And they get the pick onto Bagel. They're gonna be scoring even more. And Lucas gonna be trying to maintain it as much as possible. But they're not gonna get a lot of points. Biscuit notices the Tetra on the top. Not going to have to worry about a left flank. The brush is going in with the baller, but he gets popped. He's running on the opposite way of the conveyor, but he turns around and gets one. And not FT win. He's two down. Kyo trying to push in, but the brush. Lucas is just constantly shutting things down. There's only two minutes left. Neither team has a major score. Lucas getting a little bit over aggressive, but he's gonna ball her all the way behind. Is he gonna give them jumps up top? He is, but they're too far back. No, they're still able to score. Mm, I'm not. He's gonna get the kill. Is that worth it though? I'm not sure. It's gonna depend on if they can get even more, but I don't know if they can. That will be a lead extension, but it's going to be the cost of their front lines. Nerves at an all-time high. Biscuit with the inkjet and burst launcher assist. Going to be able to trap at the end zap. Bamboo stuck in a corner, but there's a flank on the football. But this time, Ice stays alive. Lucas goes down. That's going to be the lead. Switching for sure. Not a knockout just yet, but it's very close to it. Isabel dropping in. Two players go down. Three players go down. They need to score to keep this open. They're jumping a power clam. And it's not gonna be a game over not FT win. It was such a close set. Regardless, nice job to Vino Tinto. They beat Jackpot twice. They were one game off not FT win. They beat the Japanese team. 
They did an incredible tournament run. With that match over, Not FT1 would go on to take it 4 to 1 over the Japanese pickup, taking the tournament for themselves. I hope you guys enjoyed this cast, and I'll see you all in a future video.